Hey kids, welcome back to Reading with Renee. Today's story is If I Had an Octopus by Gabby, Danae, and Alex Barrow. I do like crawfish. I'm big on whales. A dolphin would be grand. But I'd prefer the type of pet that wants to hold my hand. A jellyfish? Too wobbly. A crab? Too many claws! Chomp, chomp! A shark, perhaps? Though sharks have tons of teeth inside there. Jaws! I really want a clever pet. A pet with many charms. The kind of pet of talents? And a large amount of arms. Oh! If I had an octopus, we'd ripple down the street, my octopus on tentacles and me upon my feet. All my friends would like to play. They'd only have to ask for football, tennis, anything. My pet could multitask. My octopus would teach me how to add and calculate. We'd practice on her tentacles by counting up to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I had an octopus, she'd help me with my sums so we could play all afternoon. My octopus on drums. Each day, my octopus would cook a very special dish. I'd help her stir a few shrimp and other kinds of fish. Octopuses have no bones, so fit in any place. They squeeze through even tiny gaps and never leave a trace. My octopus would be the best at painting, don't you think? Be careful not to shock her or she'll cover you in... Ink! Ah! As well as being inky and extremely good at art, my octopus would clean things up and always do her part. Imagine what a thrill it is to blend in to a wall and be so good at camouflage, you can't be seen at all. An octopus has eight long arms to hug me nice and tight. They also have three beating hearts to love with all their might. My octopus would juggle books and read them one by one. A bedtime filled with stories sounds like extra special fun. Then finally, we'd fall asleep, my octopus and me, and dream of our adventures at the bottom of the sea. And now they're off for their next greatest adventure. What do you think they'll find at the bottom of the sea? So many fun adventures that you can find in your life. What adventure will you go on next? I hope you enjoyed the story. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and check out my channel for some other stories you may love. And until next time, this is Reading with Renee.